Hi, my name is Deepa and let's have a look at the experiment to find the magnetic field along the axis of the coil. The apparatus required to perform the experiment is shown before you. We have a workbench with an incorporated tangent galvanometer and we have a DC power supply with an ammeter to read the current passing through the coil, a rheostat that is used to change the current and something called a commutator which is basically used to reverse the current passing through the coil. There are two parts to performing the experiment. The first one involves to find the variation of magnetic field along the distance of the axis of the coil. The second part is to find the horizontal component of Earth's magnetic field. Using Biosavit's law, we can find an expression for the magnetic field at any point in the axis, which is given by mu naught ni r square by 2 into r square plus x square, the whole raised to the power 3 by 2. The mu naught is the magnetic permeability of free space, n is the number of turn, i is the current passed, and r is the radius of the coil. The connections to performing the experiment is as shown here. Your, the commutator plays an important role and two ends are connected to the coil when the other two ends are connected to the battery, the DC power supply, through a rheostat. Hence, we can vary the current. You can see the connections here. So the battery, the DC power supply is connected to the rheostat and the other end of the rheostat is connected to the commutator. So the opposite end is again going back to your DC power supply. The, the other two sides of your commutator go to the other ends of your coil. Workbench is incorporated with a tangent galvanometer where the preliminary adjustments play a very important role in performing the experiments. We have to align the compass such that the needles read 0, 0 and the arms of your workbench have to be aligned in the east-west direction such that the coil plane is along the magnetic meridian of the earth. So this is your north and south and these two arms are your east and west. So we will slowly incline, mm -hmm. we will slowly change the direction of the bench such that the north and south of the compass coincide with the plane of the coil. And hence, we can apply the tangent law wherein the magnetic field produced by the coil and your Earth's magnetic field are at 90 degrees. We shall place the compass at the center of the bench that is along the plane of the coil and we shall pass a current of around 1 ampere which will remain constant throughout the experiment. As I switch on the power supply, you can see that the compass is reading around 65 and 65 on either sides. The next step to the experiment is to reverse the direction of the current using the commutator. And hence we can see that the compass needles have deflected again and they read close to 65, around 63 and 63. So now we'll note down the readings of the compass as theta 1, theta 2, theta 3 and theta 4. This is one way and this is the reverse direction. So this is currently at the center of the workbench that is x is equal to 0. So we will move the compass along the east arm at an interval of 2 cm and note down the deflection in the compass. As we finish one part of it, we shall go to the west arm and then move it along the axis at an interval of 2 cm and note down the theta values. So the first reading was when the compass is placed at x is equal to 0, that is exactly at the center of the workbench. Now we will move along the east arm at an interval of 2 cm and take the reading. Switch on the power supply and see the deflection and note down theta 1 and theta 2. And secondly, we will reverse the direction of the current 
and note down theta 3 and theta 4. And hence we can complete the tabular column as explained earlier. We can find the value of magnetic field using the formula and take the mean of theta and tan theta values. Once we find the magnetic field, we shall plot the distance along the x-axis and the magnetic field along the y. And we can see that the distribution of the curve will be as shown here. It will be maximum at x is equal to 0, that is at the center of the coil. And then it will fall down as you go along the east and the west arm. Once we have completed the first part, that is finding the magnetic field along the axis of the coil, we shall proceed to the second part, that is determining the horizontal component of Earth's magnetic field. So we have the magnetic field and tan theta values, and we shall plot them accordingly such that we have a linear distribution, whose slope will directly yield the horizontal component of Earth's magnetic field according to the tangent law. The last part is error analysis. Kindly refer to the chapter dedicated to it in your manual. For example, in this formula, mu0 and n are constants. So the error occurs due to the ammeter reading i and then the distance scale. Overall, we were able to determine the magnetic field along the axis of the circular coil and determine the horizontal component of Earth's magnetic field. Thanks for watching.